Hey guys, Cole here. Uh, just getting um, back to work for cardio uh, session number two. Um, just some list cardio. Uh, I typically do the treadmill, but I think I actually I'm going to do the recumbent bike today um, because I like to read when I do my list cardio. And sometimes just the I typically when I do treadmill cardio, I'm doing like eight percent incline and or you know between three point four to eight miles per hour or 3.4 to 4 miles per hour, not 8. That's running, I don't run. Um, but just the constant walking, high inclines, sometimes it's kind of hard to read. Uh, so I have my trail bicycle today, as long as I can maintain the same heart rate and get the same bit of it, uh, you know, from a calorically, you know, and fat burning standpoint, then okay, cool. Um, so finishing up that Vince Lombardi book I talked about my last log about 60 pages to go phenomenal book uh, again just about him as a coach and how he led people and how he was just so successful at the highest level uh, of professional football um, even if you don't like football it's still definitely worth a read because it was he was a man who understood com um, he had strong conviction he understood commitment he understood hard work um, I've read a lot of personal development books uh, throughout my life uh, back in college when I really started into reading I, I read a ton of those type of books uh, just because I was on a big kick and well still am on personal development uh, just be the absolute best me I can be um, and with that being said uh, I like this book because there's a lot of good recurring themes in other books that I've read. So anytime you read a couple authors and they're all saying very similar things, you have a good idea that, hey, there's some merit to this. Um, and the biggest thing that I've picked up on through this book is just the, the reminder of the fact that it is the little habits every day that really consist in our makeup and uh, of who we are and how we achieve things. Um, Lone Sombardi was a very scheduled and oriented man. Um, he, he was very detailed and consistent in little habits that yielded enormous results and of course that can apply to things like bodybuilding as we all know the little things we do every day that we string together give us the big results um, and so uh, that's something that I would encourage you guys just to remember that's really really uh, important to stick to the daily habit um, uh, on the path to your goals uh, with that being said goals cool um, milestone reached today I was 228 on the dot this morning first thing out of bed after using the restroom uh, so that's cool that's the lightest I've been in probably two and a half years I've not been into 220 since shortly after Lindsay and I got married um, we'll be married three years this August which is freaking awesome um, so but yeah so that's kind of neat um, you know I started it dieting at 265 back in about mid-January or so um, and so here we are you know July definitely took a little bit longer than I needed to but I there like you know like I shared uh, a little while back in my log there was a definitely a period of weeks where I was really just kind of screwing around I was not being faithful in the little things to achieve the big results and part of that was because I wasn't just sure what I wanted and didn't have my goals set right but now that I do I tell you the last seven seven or eight weeks man weight has just fallen off uh, fat has just melted away, which is great. I um, mean, you know, Alex and I were talking the other day. We're probably, I bet you by the time it's time for us to start reversing um, and pushing calories to grow, um, we're looking, we'll seriously grow. I do believe you can absolutely still grow in a deficit. Um, uh, I believe stored audio adiposed tissue, um, this is something Alex and I were talking about too, can, can just act as a medium um, in a caloric deficit. Um, or even as a caloric surplus in a deficit to help still synthesize new tissue. Obviously, it's not going to be to any great degree, but it is still possible. Uh, so that's always encouraging to you dieters, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you are understanding of that. But uh, we'll probably be down the 210 to 215 mark. Uh, I still have definitely some flub to go, um, but it's coming off. So I think in you know, another 15 or 18 pounds, hopefully we'll be ready to get back to growing. If it means we've got to go lower than that, Hey, whatever. Um, so we're gonna get this cardio done. Got to get to work. Uh, start working about 53 minutes or so. So I got to get in and get it. Uh, so we'll check in with you guys later.